Alright guys, we're going to get started on our King of Clubs, level 4. Did you guys think that this moment would come? We finally got here. Okay, now it's very important that you remember that because the King of Clubs is a fairly straightforward linear progression from levels 1, 2, 3, up to 4, um, the movements have increasing complexity. All Everything that... that um, all the qualities of the level four movements, um, the components of those uh, movements are built upon and stacked upon one another uh, successively as we go from level one, two, three, four. So we start with simple movements like uh, a front swing, we go to a front pendulum, we go to a swipe, and those are uh, increasing not only in complexity but also in intensity. Um, and same thing with our milling motions. We're starting with casts, we're doing a shield cast, so we alternate from one side to the other. Um, and then today, of course, we're going to do our side mill. So, um, in order to be successful with this level four and to feel like you're not just getting uh, beaten up on by the bell and to feel like you're actually. Um, moving well and retaining the skills, it's important that you go through the progression. Okay, so the movements, barbarian squat. Now we did a bent arm barbarian squat last time. Again, coming back around to this idea of building complexity. And the barbarian squat today, we're gonna emphasize a, a very tricep focused, that tricep's gotta be kicked on super tight, uh, straight arm lock for our barbarian squad and uh, we'll go more into depth than that when we actually get there we do a clockwork squat which is one of my favorite movements really and you'll see it in, in a couple of my other videos um, it's included with some of my other complexes and um, basically we're swinging from one side we're parking on the shoulder and squatting and uh, we want to be very diligent about catching the bell as we're coming down to that squat, so we're starting to match the velocity of the bell so that there's no impact. Uh, lever snatch, so instead of our uh, lever to press or simple uh, clean technique, we're gonna catch it all the way up into a high position. Uh, and then we'll come, we'll drop back down into order, so more like a half snatch. Side mill, um, we'll, I'll show you when we get there. That one's gonna be the most complex, and that one is that's where it's going to be the most important that you've gone through this progression that that's going to be the most technically challenging and then the front swipe which is going to be a swing into an overhead cast with no stopping in order but we also want to make sure that that line of ascent is not down the middle it's to the side right we always go down the side for that cast okay so a little bit of mobility here we'll palms up so palms facing the sky i want you to turn one over so we've got one palm up one palm well, we're trying to have this one up too, but it's rotated, right? And we're gonna reciprocate that position. And I'm trying to get as much axial rotation down the length of the arm as possible into the glenoid. <sighs> Still feeling my kettlebell workout earlier today. Hell, I'm feeling the workout from Saturday. <laughs> So really crank it all the way over, get as much rotation as possible. I'm trying not to dump too much into that uh, anteriorly, but um, no, we won't be too rigid on that per se. Okay, that's good, relax. You're gonna come up left over right, so left arm over right arm. We're gonna come up overhead, splitting them apart. We're gonna come back down, right arm over left arm and back to the side. So left over right, overhead, right over left, back down. And you're just gonna smooth that out or iron that out as I would say. Match your breathing to these movements. 
Okay, we're going to reverse the order, so we're going to come up right over left, split apart, left over right, back down. And this creates sort of like a figure eight pattern. Okay, that's good. Feet about shoulder width, hands on your hips, and we're just gonna draw a big circle. So push back, push to the side, push forward, push to the side. And wherever your butt goes, your head's going in the opposite direction, right? We'll just start unidirectional. Switch directions. Okay, that's good. Oh, feeling that workout earlier. Tight hip flexors. You guys know what a dragon squat is? So feet about shoulder width. Um, we're going to pivot on both feet. So I'm gonna pivot on my front heel and on the back ball of the foot. Dropping my, whoop, dropping my uh, knee to my heel. And then I'm gonna pop up and then same thing, other side. So again, heel and toe or ball of the foot. Whoop. Now, you want to get fancy, which I don't suggest you do if this is the first time you've done this one, but you can try going from one side all the way to the other. So instead of stopping in neutral, we can go all the way to the other side. And the reason why that's really tricky is we have to shift from ball to heel. But it's an okay little balance drill. Yeah, that's good. Let's do some half moons. So swing your chin all the way from one shoulder to the other. Okay, that's good. All right, so you know the drill, 90 seconds per movement. We have 30 seconds of rest in between movements. We're gonna cycle through twice. we switch our grip at the 45 second mark. Okay, starting at 10 seconds. Barbarian squat. Grab your bell. Into order. We're going to cast. And as we cast out, you're gonna move into arm lock and catch that in your squat. As we come up, you're gonna start bending the elbow and go back into your cast. But we really wanna emphasize that tricep lock. Switch our grip. Squeeze the chest, shoulders back.
And that's good. Do your rest of 30. Clockwork squat. So, we're going to swing to the side. And we're going to catch the barrel, so the fat end above the cone, on the trap. Not the clavicle, not the bone here. From mid chest to shoulder, not that guy. On the meaty part, okay? So you got to lift that handle up a little bit. So, we're going to catch, descend, we're going to, we're going to pull in, arm lock out to the other side, catch, and squat. We're gonna use the inertia of us coming up to help send that bell off. Switch your grip. That's good. Lever snatch. So, hand over hand, park at the heels. Right here. Glutes on, abs tight. So we're tightening the abs, dropping the ribcage. Five seconds. Here we go. Back in order, back down. Switch your grip. stuff. Side mill. Here's where we're getting technical. So, recall our guard, our cast, our shield cast. So, in order, turn slightly to one side. We're going down the front. We're going to turn and pull across also down the front but on the other side. So, this is our shield cast. But what we're adding to this is our swing component. Cast, swing. Cast, swing. But ideally, we want to take that inertia into the cast. You 
you'll notice this is unidirectional. Opposite side. And that's good. Sit down. Okay, last movement, front swipe. So that's a front swing. No stopping in order, we're going right into our cast. So we have to take all of that inertia into our overhead cast position and then recoil out. Remember, line of ascent is to the ear, not over the head. We want to hit elbow lock right here as we enter the swing. So, arms straight. Glutes tight as you enter your cast. Switch grip. Okay, take a breather. Chalk your hands. seconds here in between our uh, cycles. So, those of you following along, feel free to comment as to what you think is the most challenging part of each movement or if you have any specific questions about each movement. Maybe you might be looking for a tip here or there depending on what your strengths and weaknesses are outside of just the grip. Now on that barbarian squat, when we're going for that arm lock, bottom arm is going to be, easiest isn't the right word, but that's the one that you're going to be able to lock out the best. And then that stacked hand over top might be hard to straighten out completely. Um, but the overall idea is going to be there. so triceps are maximally engaged you're tight through the chest to really adduct the arms in towards each other but we also want to make sure that we're uh, retracted down and back so we've got this corkscrew effect of everything wrapping real tight into that position um, ba -ba 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 -ba, clockwork squat it's a fun one fairly self-explanatory lever snatch has got a nice rhythm to it 
Again, that's just like the clean, only we're going higher. Side mill's the tricky one, but here's the thing. Whenever you're having trouble with the complex movements, just break them down to their component parts. Take it one step at a time. So for that side mill, do your shield cast, pause, and then hit your swing. Pause here, shield cast, pause, swing, pause, shield cast, pause, swing, pause. Now, the other thing I want you to remember when you're doing your uh, shield cast is be patient. Get a feel for that bell wanting to pendulum over on its own. We want to use its own inertia to help us move along so that we're not torquing too much through the spine or anything like that. Okay. Here we go, 10 seconds. Try the 25. Don't hold it any higher than is necessary. We're just looking for that flag position, okay? Switch your grip. Tight chest. Clockwork squat is coming up. One of my favorites. It's got a nice flow to it. And you really bang out the reps. Eight seconds. Okay, hand over hand. Let it roll off, roll off, and catch. We want to be on our way down by the time that bell is starting to turn upright. We want to be already coming down. Don't let the uh, hands get too far away from the body. Keep them close to the hip and let it swing upright. So don't let your hands come up here. Switch your grip. That's good, moving on to lever snatch. Hand over hand. 
punch through with that handle to lock into your uh, flag position. Okay, switch your hands. Moving on to our side mill. So remember, if you get stuck, lost, or otherwise discombobulated, break it down. Shield cast, pause. Swing, pause. Shield cast, pause. Swing, pause. Let the motion of the bell help guide you. Don't lead it. Let it start swinging. Okay. So, turn to one hit. Shield cast, swing, pause. Shield cast, pause, swing, pause. Shield cast, pause, swing, pause. And then if possible, take it right into the cast. Okay, set it down. We got one more to go. Front swipe. Hope that grip is still holding in. Make sure you chalk up. Okay, here we go. Swing right into our cast. Switch your grip. Thank <laughs> you. 
that's it. Fantastic. Can you see that? Ugh, it's warm out. Okay. So we'll do a little bit of wrist stretching. So observe, just take a four point stance. Now you can go fingers forward. If you want more, you can go fingers out. Otherwise you can really wrap it up and go fingers back. Really emphasize that locked arm position. Mild pressure into the base of the palm. And then just deep breaths. We'll do some cat camels here. So we're gonna alternate our spinal position. So you're gonna inhale, lift that tailbone, retract through the shoulders. Exhale, lift the spine to the sky. Um, contract through your uh, lower abdominals, drawing that pelvis in, and roll the shoulders forward. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Good, arm across. Make sure you're keeping your shoulders back as you hit this classic shoulder stretch. Because if you take your scapula with you, then you're not really stretching the shoulder. If you're trying to stretch your rhomboid or something, I suppose that's fine, but. Okay, switch. But shoulder back. Good. A little bit of mobility. So interlace, forearms together. We'll loosen those wrists up a little bit. This is creating an optical illusion. Can you guys deal with that? Okay, that's good. All right, thanks for joining. And uh, if I think of something, we'll start something new uh, next week. So stay tuned.